All right, in this video we'll be looking at the protractor postulate. And it says that if we're given a line, AB, with a point O between A and B, consider that OA and OB and any other ray that can be drawn with zero, or not zero, but O at the endpoints on one of the sides of line AB. These rays can be paired with a number from zero degrees to 180 degrees, such that ray OA is paired with zero, ray OB is paired with 180 degrees. If ray OC is paired with angle C, uh, C degrees that is, and ray OD is paired with D degrees, then the measure of angle COD is the absolute value of the difference of C degrees and D degrees. Now that might sound real confusing guys, but it's quite simple. Let's take a look at an example here so we can see what they're talking about. Now, got to imagine that we have a protractor right over these angles here. And if we were to place that protractor right over these angles, we would make sure that ray OA is going to be at zero degrees, so we would have zero degrees over here. And then we would also make sure that ray OB is paired with 180 degrees, so 180 degrees would be right over here. Then we would continue and then we would look at what degree do we have at ray OC. Now for this example, we're going to go ahead and assume that that would be at 75 degrees. So again, imagine we have a protractor, and if we were looking at that protractor, we look at ray OC, we would notice that it's pointing at 75 degrees. And then we would continue on looking at ray OD, that's this ray right here, and if we look at the protractor, we would find where it falls at. And in this particular case, we're going to go with 140 degrees. All right, so again, if we're looking at the protractor, this is what we would find. Ray OA is at 0 degrees. Ray OC is at 75 degrees. Ray OD would be at 140 degrees. And finally, OB would be at 180 degrees. Now, here's what this postulate says. It says that we can find the measure of this angle right here using these two measures right here. And it says that measure angle COD is going to be the absolute value of the difference of C degrees and D degrees. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the absolute value of 75 degrees minus the 140 degrees. So if I do 75 minus 140, we end up with a negative 65. However, they did tell me to take the absolute value of that, so the absolute value of that would be a positive 65 degrees. So in other words, this angle right here would measure 65 degrees. Now, we could actually do it another way. Instead of doing 75 degrees minus 140, notice if I had done the opposite, 140 degrees minus the 75 degrees, notice we're still going to get 140 minus 75 would be a 65 degrees. And the absolute value of 65 degrees is still 65 degrees. So how we subtract is not going to matter. We just need to keep in mind that it is going to be a positive value. That's because we're taking the absolute value. So once again, this is called the protractor postulate, and it helps us find this angle here by using these two angles and subtracting them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work through one more example here, just in case there was any confusion on that first example. So once again, this is the protractor postulate. So the first thing, again, we got to imagine that we have a protractor sitting right over these angles here. And we want to make sure that ray OA is paired with zero. So we should have zero degrees over here. And then we also want to make sure that ray OB is paired with 180 degrees. So we want to make sure we have 180 degrees sitting over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check out ray OC and OD. Now for this example, I'm going to use the numbers or the uh, degrees of 60. So we're going to assume that this is sitting at 60 degrees. Now this is not going to be drawn to scale or anything, so just kind of 
go with me here. So that's going to be sitting at 60 degrees. Then we'll take a look at ray OD. And for this example, we're going to assume that it's going to go at 130 degrees. So again, imagine that we have that protractor sitting right over these angles and that we have angle or ray OA at 0 degrees. We have ray OC pointing at the 60 degrees. We have ray OD pointing at 130 degrees. And finally, we have ray OB pointing at 180 degrees. All right, so what this postulate says is we can find the measure of this angle right here using these two measures, these two degrees here. And that's what this part says right here. The measure of angle COD is going to be the absolute value of the difference of C degrees and D degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the absolute value of 60 degrees. We're going to subtract 130 degrees. So if I do 60 minus 130, we get a negative 70 degrees. But I am taking the absolute value of that, so the absolute value of a negative 70 is a positive 70 degrees. So in other words, the measure of this angle here is going to be 70 degrees. Now remember, my drawing is not to scale or anything, so just kind of go with me on this. Now I could have done it the other way around instead of 60 minus 130. Could have also done this as 130 degrees minus 60 degrees. Notice when I subtract 130 minus 60, I'm still going to get 70 degrees. And the absolute value of 70 degrees is still 70 degrees. So again, this is the protractor postulate, and it helps us find the measure of angle COD by taking these two degrees and subtracting them. That's all this uh, postulate says.